Howdy guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Amigan Survival. Welcome to update 0.4. So we're going to get right into this because there's a lot of stuff to get through. So particularly the new area, which is the Storm Forge Plateau, new Amigan perks, um, even more Amigans that we can discover. And there are some shiny ones available as well, which we'll have to sort of suss out and find out um, as we sort of get into our um into our game here now this is the first time i've actually loaded up the game because it has taken me quite a while to actually get the update on my end here being in australia unfortunately we are delayed in these sort of things which is not ideal for me but look um at least i've got the update now i can show you guys from my perspective as a first impression and yeah we can really get into it so amkin's just got a whole lot more diverse with the introduction of perks, each Amican can have up to four perks, in, uh, though finding one with the maximum is a rare treat in Amiterra. Perks can affect both combat and work uh, tasks. For example, combat perks might boost Amican's HP, increase its attack, or even enhance your own attack power. Work-related perks could speed up an Amican's task or affect uh, how much it eats, making it more efficient around your base. Perks uh, vary in rarity some are more common while others are quite unique these are uh, in it perks are lifelong locked in at birth and consistent through evolutions however an amicant's rarity its shininess and even the size of the egg it hatches from can influence both the number of rarity of the perks it possesses today another amican secret was revealed are you ready to hatch or catch an amican with your dream perks Okay, so explorers, get ready to elevate your adventures to a new level. Stormforge Plateau is ready to reveal its secrets. First, you'll need to build the bridge there from Stone Echo. Then you'll have permanent access uh, to the maze of volcanic ridges and ancient rock formations that lie above the clouds. Besides the rich veins of ore, you'll also find rare polymer deposits, a new resource that paves the way to advanced production levels with polymer, new armor, a... Sorry, with, pom with pom polymer, new armor and powerful weaponry will become available as well as enhanced upgrades for your base buildings. But beware, these natural treasures are not left unguarded. Never before seen Amicans are ready to confront any explorer who dares to set foot in the island. Uh, are you prepared for the challenges ahead? Let's get into it, guys. I'm excited because I really want to see how this, um, how this all transpires. So... I want to load in. We are ready to go. I am going to head right over to Stone Echoes now and let's have a sus out in the new area. Okie dokie guys, we are finally at the uh, bridge here in Stone Echo. So let's go ahead while I'm sort of trying to stay away from this blaze horn over here. Um, let's head up and let us finally repair this broken bridge and get everything underway put all thank you very much let's finalize this bad boy and the bridge is now completed there we go now we've got that permanent access over to stormforge plateau so i'm actually super excited to see the brand new amicans and everything else in between um that we've got to um that we've got to ooh, defeat a wrath oh okay that's going to be interesting i'm actually going to swap over this because i'm thinking i'm probably going to need it um, I reckon my I think that's my best weapon that I've got here at the moment So obviously now that we've got the new update There's going to be more weapons or better weapons that we can produce and things like that and obviously clothing There is a new outlanders clothing as well. So um, let's have a quick look. I actually can't actually see that from here But anyway, doesn't matter um, You guys would have seen it by now, but there's also a new uh, scrapyard shipwreck. This actually replaced the stone um, uh, the stone yard where in its original location prior to the update which produces um, an endless source of scrap metal which is interesting so it can be built at um at level 16 so <clears throat> i'll be able to build it anyway no problem i've already got all the resources for it um, but, but i just wanted to point that out to you guys as well just in case if you were wondering so i don't know where the um uh where the stone mine has gone off to but whether or not it's been removed or changed into a different location. I hadn't actually looked at um, all over Nexus Tree for it, so I'm assuming it may have been moved about, but who knows? Um, and then we've also got the um, the other improvements as well. So the other bits and pieces, 
is um, regarding um, what do you call it the rating for Amicans as well which I wanted to sort of quickly touch on so now we've actually got a whole different system so we've got ranking from I believe it's from uh, D to SS so SS is your best quality um, so I've got a level A uh, swim Andy here the power is 187 resistance is 46% attacks as you can see there perks um, health 20 plus 20 percent I guess when equipped and then obviously you've got your works appetite and then what type of activity the amicans are because there are now day and night workers as well so um, I think the rootsy is a night worker so that's something to to take into consideration as well so you've got amicans effectively that can work day and night on your behalf which is actually really interesting and then um, as you can see I've got a blaze wall and that's at level A but then I've got a meal winkle which is my the one that I chose to set up and um, evolve and all that sort of stuff, it's at level 35 and it's a level D. So I'm going to have to find a better version of Mia Winkle in order for me to get all this um, happening. So yeah, but to say the least, its attack power is still at 140 versus say my Swimander, which is at 187. So it's actually not too bad. Zappy is Zappy. Zappy is always going to be OP in my opinion until said otherwise but if we get out of that go back to Mia Winkle here you can see it's got perks negative 10 health and appetite is more uh 10 percent so meaning that it's actually going to be more um non-efficient for you to actually run Mia Winkle in this regard and the works is standard appetite and yeah so there you go so there's little bits and pieces here we've got a flare hood that's um well that's level 23 but I think my main one is this one here which is a level A so I'm happy with that for the moment but naturally I think what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be looking at um, S quality and above so S and SS particularly and obviously we want to find shinies as well so that's something that we definitely want to have a sus out but the other thing I want to sort of um, discuss is that your your gear doesn't break which is nice which is something that I was um oh it's a Gronks what's what are you oh yeah this is a new amican it's like a cross between a little bear and and a rabbit kind of thing well there you go let's have a quick look at you there you are level 31 you're a level b or category b sorry so that's cool so that's a physical okay so that's a standard type amican so there's no elemental differences with that one there so interesting interesting and we've got a fawn at level 30 all right we're gonna have to engage with you but i definitely want to find um you know a, a, a roots or roots whatever you want to call it and um and see if there's the third evolution to me a winkle as well because I'm, i'll be interested to see what that looks like oh there you go there's a rootsy speaking of there you are hello all right let's let's, let's take you out and 98 and let's capture Okay, there we go that was nice and easy okay so where are you so rootsy well you're a level d you're a category d so i'll definitely won't keep you around effectively but just to sort of show you guys that's what we're looking at here now and then we've got the activity which is a night worker so as you can see there at the bottom of its stats uh the perks here perks damage plus five percent and then it's got a wide variety of um of actual available works which is quite interesting so there you have it and we still got um the bud bud there i'm just gonna take my rock and back for a second and see if we can just finesse our way through and just sort of see what else is about here um all right so we've got peblos here that doesn't change and there's another gronks there's a quite a lot of deposits there for um uh for iron ore which is an interesting thing oh you can still attack me interesting interesting okay all right fawn please please i don't need you here annoying me right now i need to Ooh, look at that you see the attacks and the effectiveness so you can see that the super well i wouldn't say super effective but the more effectiveness against the element types is there so they've actually made the improvements for that which is interesting uh, that's a level 34 as well should i go for that one yeah, let's go for that one and just see if we can capture you okay so we're at 80 98 boom and i would like to very much heal my rockner a little bit 
just so I can uh, get some there we go so we can get some health back into him or her sorry it is a her <clears throat> excuse me um, okay so let's go over this way oh there's the egg okay so this is actually you know what let's go a little bit OP here and let's sub in Swimander there we go so Swimander you got level 36 all right go 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 oh that's a level 42 damn that is huge, just as long as I swapped him over. Wow, okay. Level 44, jeez louise. That is huge, guys. That is massive. <clears throat> now, even if I were to capture these ones, somehow, which doesn't give you much of a chance to do so anyway, but even if I did, the, um, the Amicans level would relegate back down to my own level, so being th level 36, so it wouldn't make too much of a difference for me to do that. Um, but this is the new polymer as well, which I wanted to show you guys too. So we've got this here. So let's go ahead and um, harvest that. So you get three per, and you do need it, the upgraded Nomad's Axe in order for you to harvest these. So don't make the um, don't make the um, uh, the mistake of using regular axes because you're not going to be able to utilize them. Uh, so you're best off doing that. Okay, actually these guys are going to find me out. So I'm going to be needing to take these fellas out before we um before we have our our pick of the um of the loots here okay thank you there we go and let's have a look and see what we get out of this so there shouldn't be any other amicans that would be coming across so it's just the standard small fire egg so that doesn't change but the difficulty has obviously changed, so it's all dependent on where you are, I guess. Okay, so another Pueblo here, and keen to see where are these evolved Amicans? Okay, so there's another Rootsy over here. Now you're level 34, so let's have a bit of a quick sus with you, and 95, and I think that should be enough. Yeah, it's enough. Right, let's just recall Swimander real quickly and just want to sort of make my way around here and there's a few of you guys here okay oh Jesus here we go all right okay come on Swimander come on come on all right do some attacks do some attacks and then what you can do is you can recall Swimander and they don't actually chase you that's a neat little trick that I've learned so <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that was known. I'm sure that's known. People actually do that now, anyway. So, but gosh, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of iron here. So this is obviously the place to come to if you really want to get some iron. But the um, the map looks pretty cool. I am enjoying the map. It's very um, I guess maze-like technical. Okay, here we go. Who we got here? Okay, so level 44 Whisper. Damn, I'm not going to be dancing with you today. And then we've got, okay, an Ember, Ember Inks. Okay, so you're a level 39. So I'm going to have to feed a Roth. What is a, a, a Roth? I'm sure that's going to be the Mia Winkle's third evolution, right? That's another Ember Inks. That's a Whisper. There's not a lot of these polymers here, so I think my advice is for this is if you can, try and collect these as much as you can let's go to Amanda I think that'll be my um, you know my humble recommendation with that okay recall you and continue on all right where am I in the map so okay so I'm at the uh, the outer skirts here so I think I would have gone from the bottom uh, right hand corner okay so that's another ember inks okay so Amanda Ooh, there's a lot here so as you can see, we still don't have the ability to um, capture these evolution um, Amicans. So ooh, I better be careful here before I die. Jeez, I nearly, nearly copped it. So yeah, so I think this is all going to come to uh, make a difference if once we actually have the upgraded versions of the Ami dice. So which which is now accessible as well uh, with this new update. So once we have that, under, there's a couple of Whispards here, so I'm not going to... There's actually three of them. Yeah, so there's three of them there. 
Okay, so I really don't want to dance with these fellows here. Not just yet. But once we, um, once we're a little bit more tougher, I think it's obviously going to be a little bit more easier for us to do these sort of things and take these fellas out. And there is a blaze horn. There's another ember inks. And let's keep going around here. I just want to sort of discover and, um, and just sort of see where everything is at the moment. Just sort of get my head around things too. Okay, so we can't really sneak our way around, which is a little bit unfortunate, but can we finesse our way through? Okay, so there's another Wispart over there. Okay, and there's the Wispart. I think it was just, oh Jesus. Okay, can I outrun you? I can outrun you. Yes, I can, look at that. All right, so there's certain pockets, certain areas in the map, as you can see where I am here. That is where, you know, you'll find certain resources by the looks of things. And then in turn, there's obviously certain Amicans here as well, which is a, which is a neat little thing. And, ooh, are you a different color? You look different. Oh, no, no, I don't want to get too close. So I don't know whether or not these shinies do actually appear on the, um, on the map, so to speak, or whether or not they're, um, they're only based upon when you capture them kind of thing. Ooh. Um, yeah, so I don't even know if that is a thing or not. Okay, wow, there's a bud bud that's a level 40. Insane. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so you can only go around the rocks. Oh, I'm actually on the rocks. Interesting. So you're, you're very vulnerable here too. It's not like you can actually get off here. Well, you can here. There you go. Oh, okay, so it sort of takes you around a little carousel of things. Oh my god, there it is. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, so that's a Wraith. What level are you? You're level 45. Damn. Well, Blazehorn is going to be the only hammockin that I'm going to be able to trust to um to get this uh, job done. God. That is going to be one hectic battle. Alright, let's just heal up real quick. And I feel like I should probably use the um, my gun weapon as well in order to do this. But geez, how do I get to this? Um, how do I get to the arena? Wow. Okay. So I think I might have to actually go right around. Yeah, I think I might actually have to go right around. Okay. That is interesting. That is interesting. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly whisk my way around here, and if we can defeat this Wroth... Oh, okay, there's an Ember Inks here. Okay, so be careful, be careful. So I'm going to have to sort of try to make my way around. How do I... Oh my god, this, this is going to take me a while, people. So it looks like I was sort of heading in the right direction initially, and... Obviously getting, um... You know, I wouldn't say mixed up, but I mean... Oh, the zappies now! Alright, we're fine. Yep. Okay, go blaze horn and recall. Okay, so let's just find our bearings here. Okay, so we just have to continue going down this way. Okay, so you can actually collect zappies now. That's cool. That's cool. So at least that's good for everyone else that didn't actually get zappy as a... Um, oh, Jesus. That didn't actually get zappy as a... Um, as a purchase uh, for part of the pre-registration -register, uh, for this game. So, yeah, so at least that's cool. Okay, so we're here. It looks like we need to finesse our way around. So if, if I can actually do that around this way, potentially. Okay, and let's just finesse our way this way. And let us... Okay, so I think it's here. Yeah, it's here. Okay. Alright, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, so there's a whisper here. Cannot Okay, I can't actually get my way through. Wow, you actually have a lot of health. I just realized. You've actually got oh Jesus, no 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 no. Okay, alright. Just do that real quick. And again, that's another little trick as well I've learned. Even though that you know you're not going to get the Amicon, at least that way you can um, 
capture it temporarily and make a run for it. Okay, so where are you, big fella? Jeez, look at him. He's got over 3,000 health. He's a big fella. Look at him. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You know what? Capture you and run away. Because I know I'm not going to get him. Yep. <laughs> of course he does. Capture you and get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, so that is going to be a bit of a task in order for you to take that fella down. So you're obviously going to need the best gear possible, the best weaponry possible in order for you to actually um, take out that Amigan. It's not going to be an easy, um, an easy exercise. So that Wraith is ridiculous. And you can see on the icon was a little bit different to that of the standard evolution uh, Amigans as well. So... Yeah, that's basically, that's basically where things are at. I mean, if I were to take that on, it wouldn't take me long to die, basically, and lose, and lose out, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm not going to be partaking in that um, as much as I really wanted to sort of show you guys and, you know, be the first and all that sort of good stuff. I don't think that's going to be in my immediate future. So, I think for now, I think this is probably... A really good introduction um, to the new update but like I said I haven't actually seen any shinies as of yet I know a lot of people on the um, on the Amican discord have actually found a ton of these uh, fellows as well so I would imagine that a lot of these would be uh, populating through um, various uh, spawns of um, uh, sorry of the zone and regions and things like that so I would imagine that would some that would be something that people would just find um, as you know as you go along so I don't know whether or not if it involves doesn't matter what Amican you sort of capture per se or if it's a case of you know if it's um, if it's visible as you can see here as we're sort of battling in a sense so I'm just sort of capturing some standard amicans at the moment to see if there's going to be any sort of changes or nuances here uh, that's a class c that's a class d um i only caught the one root c and the second root c so there's no real indicator to advise that if it's a if it's a shiny or not so that's why i'm sort of keen to sort of see that if that's going to be a thing or not so if I try and take down you, Oop. and let's just heal myself, and let's just capture you. Yes, I am going on a capture frenzy. There we go, we've got to level up for our Amigan, which is nice. Love to see it, of course. Okay, 77%. I don't know whether or not I did that prematurely, but that's all right. We'll find out in the moment. Yeah, we got him. All right, so... So I've got a flare hoot. I just picked up a new flare hoot. There you go. Um, all right. Uh, that doesn't tell me if it's shiny or not. Um, it doesn't really. It doesn't really show you, does it? I would imagine that it's going to be some sort of. Um, you know, it's obviously going to be bleeding obvious that the the shiny versions would actually you know appear and you'd be able to see or you know uh, see the point of difference. If that makes sense. So I feel like that's basically where, where things are at. So, yeah, but look, like I said, we'll definitely come across a shiny here or there. I know there's um, some really neat shinies in the fawn um, as well. So they look pretty cool. I, I would love to get one um, as as a shiny. Uh, there's Peblo as well. Very pinkish that I've seen as well. So, again, whether or not the Amicans show their original versions as you see here... And the shinies are just basically random RNG. So basically what I mean by that is that once you capture them, then you're going to be able to find out if it is in fact a shiny or not. So that could be a possibility, but I have no clue. I do not know. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch of these fellas here and I'm in a bit of a cul-de-sac here, which I'm going to have to eventually engage in some um, attacking activities. So let's just take you on there. And yeah, so I feel like we're going to have to sort of break our way through, but I don't know exactly where or not if there's going to be any sort of um, changes here. Also, ways for me to get through. It looks like it, but 
I've got to work it out for myself. But anyway, the other thing I didn't really notice, and I was sort of looking at it um, while I was sort of running around to see if there was any sort of exits to sort of indicate what, whether or not there is going to be any sort of indication of upcoming areas and zones and maps and things like that, as you, as people would like to call them. So haven't actually seen anything like that as of yet, but right now it just appears that we're um, that we're just doing the standard here for now. So we've only just got what we've got at the moment, and I would imagine that there's going to be other enhancements to these updates as they sort of come along um, later on in life so for now you know look it's great that we've got this type of content release and you know accessibility is to go in and add it and and explore new zones and stuff like that which i feel like was the right move for the developers to do so and at least this way it gives a lot of people things to do and things to grind for and things to sort of you know work your way up for but like i said it's obviously going to come at a cost and it's got it's not going to be as easy as um as it has been in the past so if you want to if you want to roll in this area you got to be geared up you got to be equipped you got to be um you know in a in a in a mindset that you're you know ready to take on what's going to be made available here in this area which is there's there's a lot of good things here so yeah i just want to sort of at least express that to you guys before we sign off on this video. But yeah, look guys, this is gonna be it for, for this video here. So I wanna thank you guys for stopping by, checking out this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below and share if you can. And, and if you guys are new to the channel or not, and you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.